Brothers and sisters, I come on here today for something very serious. I know I just recently shared a video about receiving vile and defiling dreams. Well, I'm telling you guys right now, the attacks are going to get heavier, but I want you to understand something. We are that close to Christ's return. And if there's anyone who feels like you're just too tired, you're too hurt, you just keep messing up, you keep having these nasty dreams, horrible things are happening to you, you're just, you feel like God's turn is back on you, you feel like you're losing that fire, right now I rebuke that in Jesus' name, that is lies from Satan and his demons. And you rebuke that out of your mouth right now in Jesus' name. You rebuke that and you start speaking the truth over you. And I'm going to tell you right now what the truth is. The truth is that we are being cleansed. That though we were not worthy, the Lord is making us worthy. And we are walking in repentance. We are following the Lord. We love his word. We love Jesus. He is ours. We are his you remember the promises that he made you. You remember the beautiful, hidden, secret, treasured things that he has revealed to you, that he has not revealed to other people, but that were personal to you. You remember his love right now because I want you to understand something. The attacks are going to get heavier. Satan and his demons, I'm going to expose them right now. He wants you to think that you're being defiled and dirty, that you are dirty and you are too unworthy for Christ. I tell you, you repent and get back up when you mess up. You get back up and you praise the Lord Jesus for his grace and forgiveness. You get into his word and you eat it. You eat it and you cherish it. You call upon his beautiful name. And remember, this is exactly what Satan and his demons want right now. He wants you to feel dirty and defiled and unworthy and unclean. He's going to try and show you every little thing in the book, tell you every little thing in the book, have other people tell you every little thing in the book to make you feel like God doesn't want you anymore, like you you just messed up too much. I tell you right now, it's a lie. I rebuke any and all curses, witchcraft, hexes, vexes, sorceries that have been cast on the body of Christ in Jesus' name. May they be made void in Jesus' name. I'm telling you right now, the Lord is coming for them. And his vengeance, his vengeance is greater than anything you can think up in your head. So you let the Lord take over you let him step in front of you and fight that battle we dang well know the battle is already won we are just in the process now i'm going to read this scripture this is today's verse of the day from the bible app and i know you've heard it before but i want you to reflect on it like it's the first time you've heard this i want you to really soak it in john 16 33 these things these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Our only peace is in him. And it's going to get chaotic. It's going to get painful. It's going to get real hard. And it's going to be over before you know it, because that is how close our Lord is to coming for us. Satan's going to make you think that you're all spotted up and dirty and disgusting, diseased in the spirit. But you know what? You are being cleansed in Jesus' name. You are walking in repentance. You are seeking after the Lord. And when you fall, you get back up. And we are being prepared to go be with our Lord Jesus. I declare this truth over you. And I suggest that you declare it as well. And you watch as the Lord lifts that condemning curse off of you. And you praise him. He is worthy to be praised. God bless you all.